What is cracking, my lords and ladies? It is Ren Creates, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the alternate method to completing Vare side quests that involves you doing it offline rather than having to invade five times using Festering Fingers. And it's very easy, so let's get into how to do it starting right now. So quickly recapping the events of Array side quest, you first meet him in the first step, right after you get out of the Cave of Knowledge area, and you could talk to him there. Afterwards, you're going to want to go ahead and defeat Godric the Grafted up in Stormvale Castle, and then you're going to want to go to the Round Table Hold and have audience with the Two Fingers. Afterwards, you can head back to the first step and go and interact with his message there. It's going to be telling you to go to Larunia Lakes, and you're going to want to make your way down to the Blood Church. Now, that's not too hard to find. If you have the Boil Prawn Shack Grace unlocked, you can literally go, I believe it's northwestern of it. And you can find your way quite easily to the Rose Church, as long as you don't get sniped by Crayfish. Now, here is where the alternate part of Array side quest comes in. He will give, after talking to him and telling him that the two fingers didn't seem right, he's going to give you your five festering fingers. Thankfully though, this video is about covering the alternate method that we use offline. So for that, we're going to have to make our way to the Ultus Plateau. You could kill the Magma Worm, or you could go ahead and grab yourself the two Dectus Medallion halves. One's over in Limgrave at Fort Hyatt West, while the other is over in Fort Feroth at Dragon Barrow, which is in Kaelid. You want to make your way eastern of the Larunia of the Lakes, and, and then you're going to want to continue down this mountainy path that is by the Carrion Study Hall. After making your way past the Village of Frenzy, you're going to make your way to the Dectus Lift. Here is where you're going to use the two medallion halves, put them together, and get to Ultus Plateau. From the start of the Ultus Plateau, you're going to want to go northern until you make your way to a broken down bridge with a site of grace next to it. There you're going to find a portal and you're going to enter. That portal is going to lead you to the northern side of the Ultus Plateau and you're going to want to go southwestern from here. I have it up on the screen right now of a fast forward taking you exactly to the Wither Blood Ruins. There you're going to want to go to this exact spot I have marked on the map or where my character is on the map and there's going to be an invasion sign down. You're going to invade this NPC and you're going to kill him. Now, he is using a great star that has Knight Artorius weapon art, or in this case, the Asha War known as the Lion's Claw, which he's going to be doing the front flip smash crash weapon art, and of course, great star heals with every successive hit. But thankfully, a very easy cheese is to grab yourself some Dragon Communion, preferably Rotten Breath and Ice Breath, and just spray away till he's dead. You can even use some ranged blood attacks like the Reduvia Blood Blade or if you have it, Rivers of Blood, but overall shouldn't be too hard to handle if you keep your distance. Once he is defeated, congratulations, if you go back to Foray, you can grab yourself the Lampkin, but more importantly, you can grab yourself the Great Star. But why stop there? If you make your way back to that portal area, then follow the path back, you can grab yourself another Great Star off the Captain Chariot. Which, if you have the stat requirements, you guys can actually power stance these two great stars to get some extra healing in, while doing some relatively nice strength damage. Overall, I think that's incredibly convenient how close the two great stars are together, and now we can do for a side quest offline completely without having to invade. I think that this patch was pretty good. It did, of course, nerf Bloodhound Step and the Rivers of Blood, notoriously enough, but I think it was well worth it. But there you go, that's not only how to progress for a side quest offline, but also get yourself not one, but two great stars. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy or got value from today's content. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Always appreciate it. Subscribe with the notification bell if you guys haven't already. And maybe consider becoming a member of the channel by pressing the join button. There you could decide to subscribe with a 99 cent membership or pick from any of my other four tiers I have. Either way, even if you just consider it, it's very appreciated. And you get some very nice exclusive perks, including having your name at the end of my video or getting really nice stream perks as well, which you should definitely take advantage of if you decide to catch me stream. But with that out of the way, make sure to join Discord server if you haven't already, follow all my other socials, check out the merchandise, and until next time. And until next time, I want to see all of you guys rise and make it to Moog's Dynasty. Peace.